what watching my kids gaming taught me about my network marketing business. Hello, my name is Fernando, and if you like me, if like me, you have kids and uh, the young or the teenagers, you probably find yourself uh, challenged with the amount of hours that uh, they spend on their gaming consoles. Now, we try and manage that as much as we can, but there is actually a benefit in watching your kids game. And uh, I want to take a minute to share with you a little bit about what some of the lessons that I've learned uh, as I reflected on watching them. Because there was a time, um, I hate to say, a little while ago now, where I used to myself spend time playing games. And uh, if you remember Mario Brothers when they first came out, well, that sort of gives away my age, doesn't it? But here's the thing. I've watched my kids game, and what you notice when you're watching them game is that they're going through stages, they're going through levels. And as they start their levels, they typically start at a very simple level, which takes them a little bit of time to develop a set of skills and the experience they're going to need to be able to complete the second level, right? And of course, with that comes a lot of frustration. Uh, I know that uh, I have heard some table banging from time to time. Uh, or the odd uh, scream or something like that out of frustration. Probably not too dissimilar to how we sometimes feel in our network marketing business when things uh, don't appear to be going the way that we want. But as, as we continue to think about the, the gaming metaphor here, they build the skill set, they take the ex and, and they develop some experience, and then as they achieve that level, they carry that forward to the second level, and now they're going to use everything they've learned everything that they've practiced to complete a little bit more challenging, a little bit harder level. And that continues on until eventually you know there's a big boss battle coming, right? And the boss battle is like the mother of all battles where you have to pull everything that you've learned, uh, every experience, every trick, every um, agility that you might have with that mouse or, or joystick, whatever you're using, or whatever your kids are using, um, to achieve that level. But here's the thing, even though they might have developed the skills to get through past the previous levels and achieve the boss level, which is like the ultimate battle, it doesn't mean they're going to win that the first time round. And so I was thinking about this and I was thinking to myself, well, business, network marketing is not that different. We start our journey, you know, brand new, not knowing how to do a lot of things, maybe how to engage people, how to talk to people. But as we get going, as we get training, as we get learning, we develop a set of skills which then take us to another level. You might gauge that by how much money you earn, uh, by how proficient you become at inviting and prospecting. But the other thing that's really important to notice is that the better you become, the more fun the game is. And I know that, you know, my kids ask me all the time, hey, dad, come and try this level. And I've started at the basic level and I just keep on going. And after a few minutes, I'm like, you know, and I forget it. You know, that's, that's not for me. Uh, and you might say, well, you should be more persistent. And I guess I could, but I'd rather use my time somewhere else. But they have become persistent. They have achieved. They have overcome. They have become more skilled. They have become more experienced. And now they seem to be having a lot of fun. And now that they're having a lot of fun, what my kids are doing uh, is now they're recording videos of themselves playing and sharing those videos on YouTube for other kids to watch. We call that creating content, right? Sharing experiences, allowing other people to engage with that content and maybe even teaching them on how to do the same. So it's really important that you look at what you're doing in your business, that you're patient with yourself, but also that you realize that every experience you're going through is an experience that's going to help you become better, stronger, more effective uh, as you move up, you know, move along rather along your journey in this network marketing um, journey that you're on to achieve the results that you want as you set out to impact more lives, touch more people, but also understanding there are going to be times that in spite of the experience, in spite of the knowledge, you are still going to find some challenges, some setbacks. And you just have to keep on going until you get there, knowing that there's a, a big, a big boss battle coming. And once you win the big, bo uh, big boss battle, a bit of a tongue twister. Once you win the big boss battle, what happens is that at that point you're like, well, what's next? And so it's like you know, people make it in network marketing, get to that ultimate level, and then you start to realize, well, now that I know how to do that, how else can I add value? What can I do now? And it's at that point that you may realize that. 
it was never about the destination. Right? It was never about the boss battle itself. It was about all the experiences, all the uh, the joys, the tears, the laughter, the frustration, the excitement, the exhilaration, the sharing that got you to that point. And so I want to invite you to embrace uh, this metaphor of gaming. Um, this metaphor of gaming, uh, if you have children and you watch them play or if you yourself are playing games, and notice that it's not that different unless you do this, you realize that really what we're doing here is we're playing our own game. It's called the game of life in network marketing. And as you allow yourself to have that perspective, you may even enjoy it a little bit more. I hope that makes a difference for you today. If you have any questions, if you want to know how to play this game with a different set of rules, how to do it 100% online, with training, with duplication, with transformation, so that it becomes more fun than pain, then reach out. I'd love to speak with you and explore if we're a fit to work together. Until then, take care. God bless.